Welcome back, Francis Maxwell, Robert Letal. Delighted to be back talking some more of the beautiful game. We've got a great debate coming up. Football! You can hear more about football and watch more about football on the TYT app. Go download it from the App Store. You can see more Francis, football Me. expert. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Robert, gun to your head, Messi or Ronaldo. You have to choose. There is no alternative. Just hit me with it. Messi. Oh, no. Okay. I like this. I know, I'm joking. I like uh, it. It's, it's actually, <laughs> it's usually, is the TYT sports audience is familiar from my past clips. I usually, my go-to is talking about Messi, weighing up mm -hmm. what makes him different mm -hmm. uh, at the club level. I think he combines more for the overall team in Barcelona. Ronaldo, nothing taken away from what he does at Real Madrid. But it seems that things are starting to shift here. Um, Tell us why. The international level is something that is so hard for certain players to master, regardless mm. how good they are at the club level, because uh, you're playing week in, week out with the same players. But when you're playing at an international level, you're just thrown together with right. players that you're often rivals against, that you play on different leagues, different teams, and you have to really mesh together. And one of the biggest things that I want to talk about, which I think separates Messi from Ronaldo at the mm. moment at the international level, is Cristiano Ronaldo's ability to unite his team mm. and be a leader outside of his individual performance. Mm, I see. Right. This isn't just about the fact that Lionel Messi missed a penalty in his opening game and Ronaldo <laughs> scored, a, that, scored right? a hat trick. I have to, I have to <laughs> mention it. And Cristiano Ronaldo scored a hat trick in his opening game and then scored today uh, to, to, to beat Morocco and send Portugal into a very good position in that group. It's, it's regardless of those individual acts that I think people need to start looking past when it comes to comparing these two because you know this. In basketball, how often do you hear the LeBron versus Michael Jordan or the LeBron versus Kobe, you know? Or the Nick Young versus J.R. Smith? Hey, Swaggy P! <laughs> <laughs> Love the, the Swaggy P. The real conversations <laughs> that go on. But when it comes to these uh, talented players who have just been transcendent in the game, they're always looking for ways to nitpick, right? They're right, always exactly. looking for ways to separate them. And at the international level at the moment, I think what we are seeing just solely look at, at Lionel Messi after Argentina, Argentina concedes a goal. It happened with Barcelona. There was a viral clip that went around showing Messi's reaction when Barcelona conceded uh, at the latter stages of the Champions League compared to Ronaldo's. Ronaldo's igniting his team. Oh. He's lifting them up. He's making sure that they don't panic and they understand they have the talent, the ability, the game plan to get back into this. I've seen Messi's game in the last year and a half and I know this is gonna ignite the crazed audience or Messi fanboys as well. But I've just seen him get a little bit complacent and I think it's more significant in the international level than it has been seen at the club level where his complacency and the pressure of him being arguably the GOAT to have to take this team to the next level of the international stage, I think has taken its toll on him. Whereas Ronaldo, he's just absorbing it, spitting it back let, out. Let me give you another uh, uh, analogy. You talked about LeBron and Jordan. Uh, this reminds me a lot of Tom Brady and yeah. Peyton Manning. Yeah, very good point. Uh, you know, Peyton Manning, by all accounts, if you just looked at, like you said, at the club level, if you just looked at the regular season, Peyton Manning's the GOAT, yeah. regular season-wise. The differentiation between Brady and Manning is in the playoffs yeah. and the Super Bowls. And it's not that Manning doesn't have rings or have accomplishments. It's just he doesn't seem to have that, if you had, like you said, if you had one goal that you had to score right yeah. now, in, in the World Cup. You would pick Ronaldo. At the moment, because yeah, cause Just because of the pressure. If I had one quarterback I needed for the Super Bowl, I'm picking Tom Brady yeah. every time over Peyton Manning. So it's just a question of how much does that weigh in the GOAT conversation in your mind? Yeah, and it's <laughs> because people often will hold it against Lionel Messi that he hasn't won or his team hasn't won a World Cup or right. a major competition under him. The Copa America, he missed that penalty. It was a struggle. Uh, and in the World Cup, in their very first game, it's early doors. Things could change. Uh, but at the moment, I just see Lionel Messi taking this pressure, this insurmountable, like just humongous pressure of the nation because of Maradona and the history, arguably the greatest player of all time as well, took uh, Argentina to World Cup uh -huh. uh, victory. Hand goal. Yeah, hand goal. Look at you. Remember. I know there you go. Some, some. By any means necessary, he did it. The hand of God, as it was called. But Messi, in the last few years, and I mean, he had that whole breakdown where he retired from the national team after right. the Copa America and then came back. He just seems to be not using this this insurmountable pressure or whatever to, to his benefit or his team's benefit. And people will compare the teams, right? Mm -hmm. And you just mentioned there Brady and Manning. No one could solely say it was down to them all around in right, the specific right, victories because right. they had certain teams, uh, 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 the mm -hmm. certain aspects of their team around them that helped. But Ronaldo has by no means a fantastic Portugal team mm -hmm. around them. Messi has by no means a fantastic 
uh, Argentina yeah. team around them. They're coaching. I think that uh, Ronaldo has a better coach, the way that Souza plays to his benefit. Um, but it's just looking at what unites this team and what takes them from the moments of adversity and turns that into uh, a, a prospering situation. And Ronaldo for Real Madrid has matured beyond anyone's imagination because on paper, he looks flashy, right? He's right, good looking, exactly. he's, yeah, yeah. He's, he's always floating the Not as good looking as you, but I mean, I just, you know, he's, he's good Robert's looking finding his way to my house. <laughs> called it football. He says, I'm as good looking as Ronaldo. <laughs> my girlfriend would clearly disagree. Um, but he's, aside from all that, he is business, man. Mm -hmm. He is business first, and I can't sing enough of his praise at the moment because 89 minutes on the clock against Spain. Ronaldo hasn't scored a free kick in what five years? He's put everything in Rose Ed. I'm saying this to people around me thinking I'm the soccer expert. I was like, <laughs> he hasn't scored a free kick yeah. in years, but it was something about his eyes where he took that situation where there was pressure beyond anyone's imagination, puts it into the top What's corner. And that's not just with his individual brilliance, that's him believing right. in his say. international team, believing and what he can do. And that's what's separating them at the moment. There's a level of belief about Ronaldo that Messi hasn't got at the moment. I wonder if Messi wishes he could be like uh, Kevin Durant ah. and just, you know, go to a, go, <laughs> just go to Germany. Change his nationality. Just change his nationality. <laughs> hey, this ain't, man. It's too much pressure. I'm going to go where it's the easiest head, for me to, to, to win. I'm going to head elsewhere <laughs> and get myself that, that, be, that trophy. That'd be kind of interesting if you could trade World Cup I'm uh, sure those, nationalities. Do you know I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ignite a war. My people back home and say I train my Scottish national. Oh, He's a go. fan. Here you go. Just, I just want to see us play in a major competition, man. Isn't it so hard to ask? I just want to go to a bar surrounded by my fellow Scots and watch my team. I had to watch England celebrate like they just won the World Cup because they beat Tunisia. <sighs> Give me that opportunity. All right, guys, it's been a pleasure. Make sure to get the TYT app, and as always, thank you so much. TYT.